Oh my god. Look at all the transports. Well, they know where we are, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how that's how that's finding us in the middle of nowhere like that. When we should have been Oh my god. It's a hell of a garrison. This is where I was told to come. It said it was uh, there was people here to meet me. <laughs> It's only 1v1 now, I think. We might win. Maybe. Oh my god. stuff in. It's fine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> make it fit. <laughs> Just make it fit. That's what I say to the guy who cooks my Indian food. I go down with real baggy pants and I say, hey Mo, make these fit. He knows what I mean. Uh, ran out of fuel from burning too much. Nah. Oh yeah, maybe. Actually, the other ship. That could have been actually what happened. Right, we have a Tarkin here that we could talk to and maybe get him to join us. We're in need of ships. We've also got other ships we can now purchase. A meteor. What the hell is this? A Mockingbird. Interceptor Corvette. Does not look like one, gotta be honest. That giant fuel tank there. And an Archangel, an attack heavy frigate. I can maybe buy the two smaller ships and talk to the Tarkin. Alright. You see Omar and his men bow reverently to the stranger the moment they see him. Al Sahir. Oh damn! Look at those eyes. Omar, son of it is very Dune-like, isn't it? Except golden eyes instead of blue. Peace be with you. Uh, why are you here, Al Sahir? How is your good father? Former guardsman of the King of Garat. Some Harishids now serve the Lord Governor. Others have been taken refuge in the vast deserts. Hadashid's in service to the Lord Governor murdered, by, murdered my father. They threw him off a ship three days ago. His body was shattered against the ground. Jesus. Cool gear. I love the infusion of like Middle Eastern attire with steampunk-esque you know, I don't know, mechanical stuff. <laughs> Omar and his men seem stunned by the news. The Almighty shall avenge his murder sevenfold. May it be so. The boy turns to you next. Peace be, one, uh, be upon you, son of Sayedi. Perhaps uh, peace be with you as well. The boy smiles when he sees you hesitate. Al Sahir, call me Al Sahir. Harashid's in service to the Lord Governor murdered my father three days ago. <laughs> he just tells he tells everyone this. Like he fell from a wreckage and they shattered his bones. It's like okay. Um, you're heading for Kiva, son of Sayadi. Allow me to join you. I'll be happy to fight by your side. Alright. I want to meet other Tarkins. You know where to find them. This guy's loving us. There aren't any Tarkins around here, Duke. I've never heard of any. Thank you. Alright. Well, we got him and his ship, right? So that's good. That was a free ship. And we desperately need it. I'm going to take on the uh, Meteor Mark III. And fuck it, we'll take this as well. Alright, we have to wait a while. So, um, we are still detecting something quite close by. Over there. I mean, look at all this stuff. These are all transports. It seems like if we could get to here, we could intercept so many potential transports coming our way. And fly out with our lightning to kind of track them, see where they're going. Bommelhot, Root Shilo. Oh, this is all fucking ciphered, is it? Oh, no, it's not. That's just the name of the towns. Root is going to be Shilo to Masif. I'll just turn this off. Asan, Nod. So, yeah, so Shilo to Masif to Asan to Nod. And that's it. 
Normal hot. And this is someone called Nomad. So it's a transport. We know they're taking that route. That's fair enough. That was 18 hours ago that they were there, though. They're starting on Misaife. Doesn't really matter to us. I think I might go here, try to get intel again. And then we might cross over. But uh, we are getting close. Now 90 degrees. There is something pretty close to us. I'm going to... Um, see if we can scan it. Nothing out there immediately. 90 degrees across, though. Still got 27 hours for repairs to finish. I mean, that's a long time. It's moving down though, so it went from 90 to 120, but it's getting closer. So it must be it must be coming down here. But it might be it might not be heading towards us though. Now if that if that gets stronger, then I'll know they're coming towards me, right? It's gotten weaker. Warning. Radar emission detected. Yeah, that's okay. It's gotten weaker, so that must mean that they came to they went down here, got to here, and then they're going somewhere else. So I think I'm okay. It's encrypted. Um, okay, let me see if we can work this out. Don't we have a cipher key? We found one that said 27, or a piece that said 27. It must be a new key. So it's four, five letters. It could be so is the guy we saw before. No, I can't work it out. There's something wrong. <laughs> could be another anti. It could be anti. I could try that again. There's, uh, there's about three or four names I can try. I'll try three of them. Yeah, it's making sense. Alright, cool. This must be him. They shouldn't sign their name. <laughs> Expecting less than an hour, something, something heading north. Well, the key piece of information that we need isn't really there. But at least we got it. So we know the, we know the key that we need. I mean, we don't really need to write it down again. There it is, 2101-2603. Crack the code, just like that. Now we're detecting all the radio messages here, holy crap. Our Zamas. We'll arrive somewhere approximately in 10 hours. Speed 90, course west. Arzamas. Okay. A lot of traffic around. I mean, it's mental. I don't know why there's so many things around here. So many transports. The only thing I can think of is there must be a lot of strike groups as well. I imagine they travel try to be protected. I don't know. This is as far out as we can zoom. Look at the amount of fuel we have that we can hold. We've been here for a while, so that gives us this dangerous thing. I don't know what that means. People said that it's dangerous to stay in one place for a long time, but I don't know what happens. Is it just an increased chance that they'll know where you are? They obviously don't know where we are, because we would have had them on us by now. They seem to have turned around. Alright, I'm going to get moving, because it says dangerous. Repair isn't fully done yet, though. But we'll just get moving. We'll go to En Gedi, and we can get some intel and find out where other things are happening. It's actually a repair place here, also. There we go. <laughs> you think it was a Santa Nod? No, they s Oh, they said they were going west. Sorry, I'm an idiot. That's east. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably not. It's probably not. I can move this then. Yeah, you're you're dead right. It said west. I don't know why I reversed it in my head. So look, we're getting, we're losing that distance to them. Our radar's off. We've been keeping quiet, so I think we're fine. Could try one of the new ships we got, the Mocking. What is it? Five hundred speed, Mockingbird, and the Meteor six twenty and five hundred fifty eight. Let's try these boys. And uh, do we have anything else that's even close to that speed? The Lightning could come in third. It's the one that's really damaged though. Off it goes. I love this game. I think it's so cool. 
I can play this forever. <laughs> For a very long time, anyway. I hope they do more with it, or do a sequel or something in a similar vein. Send in that meteor first, what has it got? It has incendiary rounds, potentially. We've got four things. A gladiator with the heavy armor. Finding these three first. Missiles on the ground. Did my part, comrade. Wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, I read that already. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell the game to anyone, you know. Each did their own, but I hope it does well. It's gonna rapidly r run down here and see if we can hit someone on the ground. all over the place. Pilot's basically knocked out. <laughs> oh my god, I can barely dodge these missiles! loaded damn this guy's left side is fucked I need to hit him on the other side oh my god Jesus can I get out of here the retreat points on the very top right of the map Try to make it though if we can. Speed, power. All right, we're out. Good. Okay. So now we're using the Mockingbird. Uh, this doesn't have any fucking weapons, so that's good. What's the point of this thing, eh? I mean, it's carrying a big load of fuel, I guess. Uh, that was an absolute joke to bring this in. Note to self, check your capabilities before sending something into battle, eh? I thought of it when we looked at it. It said, like, attack Corvette, and I was like, okay, it looks like a giant fuel carrier. And now we have our damaged ship. Great. This will be good. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Suck it! This is such a cool game. Uh... Brave sacrifices. <laughs> and then the mockingbird. What a joke. Mocking me. We gotta put some guns on that thing. Ready and waiting. The ship enters combat with the guns loaded. Dangerous environment without protection, that's fine. Dangerous environment without protection, it's the hazard ones that we gotta worry about blowing up. Nothing's gonna blow up, so nothing's gonna get this. Oh no, it will. These two can explode. So I'll secure the fuel tanks and stop something from exploding, and then we'll try to get in on one of these weapons. See if we can sell them. Search the crew cabins.
Get a gift? Nah, forget it. 78 died. Wow, not very kind because of that. <laughs> they weren't my crew. That's the enemy crew. Technically. So I don't know. I'm not very kind for not rescuing them. Come on now. Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, the gifted sub as well to Doppel Couple Lung Skirt Tree. <laughs> Oh, speaking of thrusters not working, this thing is going crazy. And that was from Frontier Gibberish. Thanks so much for the sub. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, not all subs go to takeaways, I promise. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've actually got something interesting to talk about regarding subs and stuff like that. Just a second. Ah, lost the engines. It's okay. I think if you land on two separate points, you get a, a double. It adds them together, doesn't it? It's quite a good thing, actually. Yeah, you get both bonuses. It's really, it's really nice that way. Most of the ones that are like down a big slot, though, obviously you can't do that. The ones that are give you a lot. But if you got two tens next to each other, you might as well try it. Um. Sitting in your cabin alone with your charts, as you carefully chart a new course, you notice an ant crawling on the map. An ant queen, where did it come from? This is weird. Squash it again is another option, or it must have flown in through the window. Great, now to lay eggs in here and I'll have an ant infestation in my cabin. Why can't I just kill you? I don't want to kill him. Mindless insect, it crawled out of a vile egg in some fetid corner of a nest. And now you dream of finding another fetid corner, just like your birthplace. I love that I have the option to squash it at any time. It's cool. You have no idea I'm addressing you right now. Oh, it's trying to trick me here. You probably think I'm just a very large ant. You think I want to eat you, don't you? And you don't even realize you found your way onto my ship. You don't even know what a ship is. This knowledge is simply unavailable to you. It's too big. Too impossible to understand. What the hell is going on? <laughs> and try as I might, I can't explain why I'm sitting here all alone talking to you. Dude, I like want to cry. <laughs> this is too existential for me. I'm crawling across the face of the world, just as you're crawling across my chart. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying to save myself and everyone I love. As someone else has been talking to me the whole, all the while. And someone else has been talking to me all the while. Cover the ant with a glass and tell your aid to remove it from the ship. You can already imagine the junior officers laughing as they discuss this in the war room. In the ward room? If you kill the ant, you're a fucking maniac. That's all I'm gonna say. Getting Metal Gear Solid vibes from this. Yeah, kind of. That's the only time that soft music has ever come on as well. Thank you for the follow. Reality Lime. That's a great name, by the way. Can't even remember what we were doing after that. I mean, that's some really good... I mean, in my opinion, that's really good writing. To even think to do something like that is quite quite interesting. I love it. This game has surprises yet. And our other crew have to arrive as well in a second. So we have the data, though, now. This is a communications array, so... We can look and find where a strike group is. We don't really need to see any trade, I think. We know a lot about different trade. Um, but we could do tactical, so we'll do strike group. Cheap as chips. <laughs> so there's a strike group there, Arzamas. So we had Arzamas listed before, and you correctly pointed out that Arzamas is, will be here in 10. And there he is, right there, chilling right now. 
it pains me how much sense this game makes sometimes. This is what I've been talking about for so long about practical immersion based. You don't need like crazy stats and modifiers in games to make a strategy game. Just need to do things in real time and tell people, talk to people as if it's really happening. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I mean, there's room for those other games too, but there is. this is the first of this type. I hope that people who have followed me for a while and have heard me drone on about a real-time campaign and how like information can travel and, and why that stuff's important. Because this is, this, I mean, it's, the evidence is right here. Anyway. Tactical info. So we have an aircraft carrier group here. Like, look at the manual for a second. I want to look at what the manual says about aircraft carriers and different things. So I'm just going to search the word. So if a, a great tip, if you don't know, is that the game comes with a manual. In Steam, if you click library, and you go to additional content, you can see the manual here. Click it, it opens up a PDF. Great manual, it's got loads of info, graphics, tells you everything. It's not just walls of text, nice images, screenshots, etc. It's brilliant. One of the best manuals I've ever seen, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, yeah. All right, aircraft carrier, aircraft control. That's fine. That's just to do it, controlling your own. Aircraft carriers and missile carriers. So, this is in the category for enemies. And if aircraft carriers and missile carriers are also lurking around the map. Carriers can deploy attack planes from 2,000 kilometers away, so they're important to avoid or destroy. Otherwise, you'll need to manually shoot down the pesky jets when they reach you. Yeah, people were talking about that. Missile carriers can also attack from long range. When a missile reaches you, you have a chance to shoot it down manually. Uh, you control the command ship or other aircraft and automatically shoot at the missile. Be careful not to hit your own people doing it. So there we go. Straight up. Straight away like that. I needed to know what to do with them, and we found it out. Way back in the day, they made these manuals that came in the game box. I know, man. Maddening, isn't it? Can you imagine? One second. Feels so good. This manual's never been opened, actually. It smells fresh. And then as well, I won't unfold it because it's too precious to me, but, um... Came with a map. Don't actually need the fuel. I'm waiting for the repairs more than anything, but we're gonna skip over to Nemrez. Well, actually, if I'm getting repairs here, maybe I don't need to. Yeah, I don't need to, I guess. That's faster ship repairs. Yeah, I think we're gonna I'm gonna go straight for the aircraft carrier group. The question is though. Which way is our Zamas gonna go? If he heads he did go west. If he continues going west, we could be in trouble with me trying to make that jump. Alright, refueling's done. I'm going to roll the dice on this. This is a big dice roll. Oh, let me do it. Oh, we can't. I'll do a trade one then. Pulsar, a transport. It's located right there. Ten hours ago, Arzamas was there. Man, I wish we could just get a little um, phone call and see. Oh, actually, we could. What can we do? Faster repairs, support, funds, intel. I'm gonna ask for intel one more time. Find the source of this information. Anti is heading up north. Interesting. And Donbass is here as well. So we just found two of them next to each other. Damn, it doesn't really help me with where I want to go. Mirage? A transport. We have their whole route plotted. So we know he's heading that way. He's heading that way. I have to just hope that Arzamas went back and didn't go this way. There's only two areas here. Alright, it's a bit risky, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to go here. Hope for the best. This might be our last move today as well, anyway. Keep an eye out on things at the halfway point and see where our radar can hit on that on that line. See if we can spot anything as we make our way there. Warning, radar emission detected. 
So we're after picking up something out that way, which makes sense. We, we would expect that they were there. I'm hoping that they're going the other way, though, so just keep going. Let's see if this starts to fill up and they're getting closer or not. If it stays the same, it's pretty good. If it goes down, it'd be even better. We can always turn back and do a 180 if we need to, though. For now. Desperate. Expecting 15 hours, speed 90, moving west. Require on arrival a hollow carbon something. Kilogram wire, kg wire, weather something. So it looks like Arzamas is continuing west. We might have to come back then. I mean, it's a good thing we picked up on that. But I think we have to turn around. Or, well, no, they're not going to skip over it. Yeah, I think we have to turn around. We can go back to Nemriz, though. Get faster repairs and stuff as well. I love that. Seeing the smoke trails change and everything. Look at that. I mean, it looks so cool. So, we should mark that they are there. So, in really, by the time we get here, they'll be there. Alright, let's pick what we're gonna go forward with. Uh, let's get the Intrepid Mark II. The lightning is super, it seems like it's super damaged. I don't know if it is. It seems like it is. Let's throw it in there anyway. Meteor. Jaguar. Still 99%, so let's go. Alright, here we are. 4v4. Aircraft carriers are god tier. I know that's why if they if he just moved east instead of west, we could have hit that aircraft carrier and we would have hit a transport. But he's protecting them, so got a laser guided weapon. Let's go. Oh my god, laser guiding. So good for hitting the guys on the ground. Almost feel bad. I'm gonna switch them now. I don't want to waste any more of them. We don't need to use them all. I can't believe they haven't activated. There we go. I haven't tried laser guided weapons yet. It's actually amazing. It's so powerful. I can't believe they didn't activate though after I killed, you know, shot the first one. They still didn't like move. The proximity um, fuse is really good as well. I really should actually buy some more of those ammo types. Some damn good hits here. That's their escape pods, is it? Yeah. There we go. Pretty good. Uh, you can buy more fuel at the supply depots. You can buy special ammo for your ships and weapons for your planes. Uh, right. Um, search the crew cabins. We were a bit low on crew. Oh, no, we seem okay now, though. Dismantle the FAB 1000. High explosive bombs. Dismantle the 37 millimeters. We have 130 millimeter cannons. They're worth 4,000. I kind of need the money, you know? Search the radio room. I think we should do that again. So this is an explosion hazard. We could stop that from exploding. What about this one? That's an explosion hazard. So there's three explosion hazards. So basically, explosion hazards will remove something else when their bars run out. So I'll stop this one from exploding because it's the first one. Get the weapon. Maybe stop this from exploding. Search for survivors. You can only do two things. The survivors are probably not going to make it. <laughs> 26. Am 
Well, they're dead, aren't they? It doesn't matter what we do at the end of the day. Got the ammo there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the Doyen you greets you after landing tells you about a group of soldiers loyal to the governor who left the city shortly before your arrival. These insurgents must be hiding somewhere in the mountains nearby. Uh, but yeah, anyway, send troops to comb the nearby mountains, put all the ships on high alert to secure- uh, and our men need rest, follow the standard docking procedure. Father Daddy says number one. Let me just read it again. There's insurgents hiding in the mountains. Send troops to comb the nearby mountains. I don't know. I'd say put ships on high alert, increase security. Okay, actually, yeah, okay, I'll go with your option. Let's just send them out. Your men find the enemy encampment. Unfortunately, they find the encampment abandoned. They turn up nothing else, no matter how hard they search. Okay, well, no, no negatives anyway. It's not so bad. Sell the guns. Still bought that gun. Don't know what to use it with yet. Um, right, so I don't know where to go from here. Probably down south to get special modules, and then I could do some shipbuilding. I might do that then in between. I don't know when I'm playing this again. Probably not till Wednesday, actually, unfortunately. But um, by then, everyone's going to be pro at the game. And be like, oh, just use this, this, and this, and you destroy everything. <laughs> All right, we are fueled up. We could go down to Zephy. I think we could get some more fuel, although we are 100% repaired. Just get a little bit more, just in case we have to make a turn around again. I'm nervous that we're getting closed in on. What is this? I was awakened in my cabin by a messenger. Admiral, sir, the Duke has asked you to come to the bridge. Something was wrong with the ship. The crewman in the wheelhouse looked distressed and confused, their eyes vacant and lost in thought. And yet, he was completely calm, a stark contrast to the rest of the room that I found oddly fascinating. But when I looked out the porthole, I saw the reason for their alarm. According to the clock, the sun should have been rising, but the world behind the glass was pitch black. The ship's searchlights were weaving around frantically, scouring heaven and earth in a vain attempt to slice apart the all-consuming darkness with their narrow beams of man-made light. The men are scared, Mark. You need to do something to reassure them. Oh, is this what we're talking about, our worldview? You must address the crew, Duke. Judy calls. I want to hear from you first. What are your thoughts, gentlemen? This can only be a solar eclipse. Tell it the crew. Tell the crew that it'll pass. The nuclear war to the south could have kicked up a cloud of ash. An enormous cloud of ash. Spooky times. That would be freaky. Um, half an hour later, you find yourself standing before a massive, murmuring crowd. Officers and crew members, check order 50%. What does that mean? Check faith. Oh, check order or check faith. Faith is on zero. Order is on zero. Even less. Check the officers and crew members. Fuck. This would be a f uh, this would be a fitting beginning for a grand parade in Ur, but here and now these formulaic phrases have no power. The crowd barely pays you any mind. <laughs> I just I could just go straight to this is the end of the world, and then they'll pay attention. 100% chance of saying dust and ash from the nuclear war in the south have reached us and blotted out the sun. You see several frontline officers nodding along. The ashes of our cities have risen up to block out the sun of Garat, and I tell you this, my fellow Romani, I swear to you that the squadron will keep moving forward until we finally retaliated against the enemy. Until Kiva is ours, we will seize Kiva's plutonium, and we will use it to scorch the cities that have betrayed us from the face of the planet. Jesus. I think we are the bad guys. Somewhere in the crowd, a woman's solitary sob slices through the silence. The crowd is utterly silent. And then, we will rebuild the Empire. We will rebuild the Empire on the graves of those traitors. This I swear. For the honor of our fallen brethren, we will rise again. Yes! <laughs> Yay, we got it all back. The crowd roars in ecstatic approval, drowning out your final words. That is all. Please return to your stations. I hope we're right. If, I mean, if the sun doesn't rise in a few days, wouldn't they be freaking out even more? 
If it's revenge, are you the bad guy? I would say yes. I would say, personally, let's say that, uh, let's say it's like this. Germany committed horrible war crimes during World War II. That doesn't mean we need to commit horrible war, cr war crimes against Germany after the war. I don't think nuking cities belonging to the, quote, traitors is the right way to go. <laughs> That's what I would say. Maybe strategic military uh, strongholds, but I don't know that every city needs to be nuked and we need to build on top of the graves of our enemies. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I think it's a little bit of a farley, but whatever. We're all in on empire. We'll go all in on order against chaos. They overthrew your family and took your crown. Well, I guess we don't know enough about the lore. I would say that, I mean, it doesn't seem, I mean, there was peace for the last 30 years. So I'd say, yeah, in fairness, there's been peace for 34 years, apparently, according to the lore, and Kiva rose up against them. I guess you'd have to ask why did they feel the need? And they wanted to establish a republic. We are a hereditary empire. Typically speaking, probably republic is probably a bit more fair. But, I don't know, were we oppressing people? Is it things really bad, or was it just like, oh, it's an empire, but things are good? I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, we're at the city of uh, repairs. We're going to head down to Zephy. This is probably the last place, actually, and then i got to go. Got to wrap it up. So we're re refueled. Whoa. All right, let's go. Is it dark? It is dark as well. Why do I even need to ask that? I know that they'll, I know that it'll be what they said it will be. I love on the radar you can see your own ships. It's like, it's just, I don't know. And the same with the IR search. It's a great way of determining like what things look like when you see them. All right. Did, it, uh, did I break off that many? Five. Oh wow, I thought I chose four. I don't know which one is which, though. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, they're firing back at me right away. God, they fire so fast, I can barely keep up. Well, I know where the flower is now. Jesus Christ, that was a bad hit. Shit. Take the put the fire out. Oh my god, I don't think we have any fire suppressant. I think it's been completely blown. Look at us in the bottom left, we are fucked. Damn, that did not go well. Holy shit. Completely ruined the, you know, the full advantage I had there, to be honest. Good. We must not have any fire suppressant on the other ship, because as soon as it caught fire, or it just got blown out of it, because there's a giant hole in the ship, which is probably quite likely. I might retry this one. You take a morale hit for doing that, and we haven't done it very often, so I think it's relatively okay, but deep down I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I should be doing that. What are the circles around the ships? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it might be like whole integrity. It seems to go down when you hit them sometimes. The semicircles. Not all of them have it though, so yeah, I don't know actually. I'm trying to hit those escape pods. <laughs> they did it to me. I'm gonna try it again. I don't think we should have lost that shit like that. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that was pretty rough. Cool to see though. Especially, there's just like, if you saw this, there's a giant hole right here. It got blasted from the bottom. So negative one morale on everyone. Morale eight, seven, eight. I don't know what, what the threshold is for they don't come into battle. I'm guessing zero, but 
I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. Coming in from a different location now. Damn, it's actually so hard to control it. Ah, oh, it's like if I just move that little bit. Ah. Uh, go, 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 go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's bring in the other ship and let them fight. out. Alright. So my own ship has a circle now. Whoa. Fuck, man, I'm losing my edge. This thing is loading so slow. I'm not getting hit by much though, at least. Just good. Ah, just say that. So bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with you in this battle. Jeez. Well, Dolph, I'm pretty proud of how I've done today. I think it's been fun. Especially some of the missions we had today in battles. Had some really good long range shots. I was impressed with my own shooting. It's like, what the hell? I'm like, perfectly zeroed in sometimes. At least we kept the other ship alive this time. Miss, 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 miss. That's all you see <laughs> are the misses. <laughs> Battle scars. Gain combat experience. The team will repair the ship 20% faster. I was saying this thing was reloading slow. Guns recharge 25 fast. Let's go. 20% faster. Fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, it wasn't very smart. I was trying to give the crew protection so we could go into one of the things, but everything just exploded. Oh well. So, something bearing 120. And we're getting kind of close to it. Let's let these guys link up and then we'll go in. Bad news, Grand Duke. We've just intercepted a transmission from the Lord Governor. He has ordered every strike group to move to Kiva. If we take too long to reach it, he'll amass his entire fleet at the city very soon. An assault in the city will be quite impossible then. Others say nothing. What they want is to go south to Ur, then return to the capital. Assemble all hands, Peter. I'll address the crew. You soon find yourself before a human sea. A thousand eyes fixed upon you. Men's faces are pale with fear. All of this was meant to happen. It was premeditated, preordained. We have a 25% chance of success with any of this. Uh, I'll go with force. We must capture Kiva Reactor, it's a matter of survival. You can almost see a wave of bewilderment emanate from you and spread across the Sea of Eyes. No one expected you to begin your address this way. Deep in our hearts, we all sense the terrifying truth. The world as we know it will soon be no more. A new world will arise to replace it, and this world will only know one law. Might makes right. <laughs> if we are to survive in this world, we must be strong, fearless, and resolute. Today we have what it takes to crush the governor and seize Kiva for ourselves. Lest tomorrow the enemy fleet reach the city and doom us all. Yeah, the fleet saves it for the campaign map. We've only had one so far, though. 
Hear me, sons of the Romani, sons of Garat. Brace yourselves, mu muster all your strength, and prepare to fight for your survival. Fight with all your might, or you will have no future at all. Didn't work. Heavy silence hangs over the crowd as you finish. Your men do not believe you. The officers of the fleet avert their eyes, gloomily refusing to meet your gaze. So this is where it, it comes into effect, right? How we have talked to everyone and how we've built up stuff. To be honest, I haven't had that many chances to build up, like... I think Force has probably fallen one or two times, maybe, and that, that could be a reason for this. What's done is done. All you can do now is tell the crew to return to their stations and prepare for the worst. Yikes, what a horrible way to go. Morale negative three. It's not that many restarts there, then, eh? Do you truly think the Kiva reactor is an ancient shelter of some sort, Duke? I'm certain of it, Admiral. Without sunlight, an operational nuclear reactor represents our only chance of survival. Because it's still no sun. Oh my god. The day of the Black Void. You know, Duke, with the sun gone, even the air is bound to grow too cold. It'll eventually freeze. All the air in the atmosphere will condense into a crust on the surface of the planet. How do you plan to survive in a vacuum, my duke? I'll be told that the Kiva reactor is as large as a mountain. Our knowledge and skill pale before those of our ancestors. We must trust them, or we need to trust them. That's awesome. It's like Frostpunk now. Now that the sun is being blotted out, we need to get to the reactor just purely to survive. It's like, Jesus. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.